Alderson brought us. School down in West Virginia, fellas. Cade did not know they existed before we started this particular program. Isn't that right, Cade? Alderson brought us. I thought it was like a professor at the university or something. <laughs> it is not. It is its own distinct university. Oh, wait. No, it's not because they just got shut down. They're shutting down the whole school. Uh, their authorization to award degrees in the state of West Virginia was revoked by the Higher Education Policy Commission. The HEPC, if you will, Trevor. On Monday, Oh yeah. that being today, uh, during an emergency meeting, the vote was unanimous. I wonder what they had the emergency meeting about. It was probably this. I wonder what spurred them to make that decision, though, which is kind of interesting. Um, their authorization to confer degrees, confer degrees, that, well, that's what sucked me up there for a second, confer. I've never, it's an interesting word that's choice weird. there. That will be revoked effective December 31st, 2023. So they're not allowed to permit or they're not permitted to enroll new students beginning with the fall 23 semester, but seniors scheduled to graduate at the end of the fall term may continue to complete their degrees on schedule. That's what they said. Uh, so, hey, this is, this is what they're saying, basically. Hey, bro, I'm going to give you your, de- your degree, but that shit, like, this don't mean nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, Hey, y'all can stick around and get your degree from this school, but, like, but we're literally not going to allow anybody else to get degrees the, from this The day school. after so y'all done. <laughs> you might as well tear it up. It's as good as the t- uh, toilet paper. <laughs> Gonna wipe you. <laughs> no, that's, that's actually that's not. I'm not like. You know, I mean, no, I know. That's sad. People, are, people are losing opportunities. And it is education. And not even just the football side of things, because yeah. this also means uh, one of the big things here. It says, "quote Immediately ending all athletic and extracurricular activities. Yeah, even so. the intramural boys are done. Done for. Over with. That's it, man. But um, on a serious a note, that sucks uh, for their football team because now you have all these kids that guys. Tomorrow is August first. And they have nowhere to play football potentially, so now you're gonna yeah, have a really, ton of guys. Literally, just but they had, over. bro, they had to have camp. they had to have some sort of like they're not oblivious. It was you know an emergency mean? meeting. I know, but they just they ain't just say hey emergency meeting. And then 30 minutes later, yeah, the school's over. Like that, 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 no, there's no way. I don't know, dude. It had because to be funding. It had to be everything like leading up to it. They had to have known at least something. But I don't know if it was to the severity where they knew that this potentially was going to happen because you look at their 2023. They have a full 2023 schedule, and they're in a football count and like all these things like. There was no infrastructure know or anything happened. behind that. Like, what happened? Like, uh, what gets you to that point? Funding, bro. It's got to be funding. But it was... I Unless they had a bunch is. of fraudulent motherfuckers is. teaching. <laughs> like, what else could it be? They just, ah, uh, wrap this shit up. <laughs> what? Uh, the university has the right to appeal the commission's decision by submitting a written notice within 10 days. I'm going to assume... That probably won't happen considering the vote was unanimous. It's not like they're going to win over the mind of one or two people on that board and be like, okay, we're back in business, guys. You can get those degrees back out. Just surreal. Kind of wild. It really, like I said, it does suck for the football team. Now, granted, fellas, no knock to the old oh. Allison Broadus football team. They were 0-11 in 2022. They remember the MEC in Division Two. They did not have the best year Holy this shit. past year. I got an answer for you. As far as why this happened. College Football Network just posted it. He did. Shout out, Michael. Financial issues. They owed. <laughs> no. They were unable to pay their utilities, and they owed seven hundred and seventy-six thousand dollars yeah. in utilities. Yeah. Damn. Se- seven hundred what? Over seven hundred thousand dollars in utilities. So when I said it's got to be financial, you guys are like, no, no. You, you had guys walking out the classroom like, hey, get the light. <laughs> they probably and we can't did, leave that shit on. They probably didn't have no damn lights. <laughs> if you guys uh in the lecture hall and everyone yeah uh, tomorrow's lecture will be BYOC, bring your own candle for lecture. <laughs> We're actually gonna be busting a hole in the ceiling for a skylight because we cannot afford to keep these overheads on anymore. <laughs> it's uh they're in West Virginia. They have those yeah. like old like coal miner hats <laughs> that just had the candle in it. <laughs> Not even like an LED light or We're anything. We're foul as hell for this shit. You guys shit. are, bro. <laughs> 700 thou? That's a lot yeah. of money. That's a lot of money, dude. So Good job, Cade. Yeah, kid, you really got to the bottom of it. I did. Investigative I mean, journalism. We were damn near for the pool, like a like a, we we thought there was like a freaking <laughs> heist <laughs> going on at <laughs> Ottomanson's Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called again? <laughs> Alderson brought us. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Sounds anymore. like a Harry Potter character, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> it doesn't really matter uh, what you call him now. She's a... God! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the school doesn't exist. <laughs> Tell that to the seniors getting their degrees this winter, Trev. Tell that to them. T's and P's to all of the... The products of Alderson Broadus yeah. over there in West Virginia. Note. This was supposed to be their 2023 schedule, and I bring this up because now you have all these teams, especially in conference, that need to find new opponents. They got Expelliones. The- <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Oh, it's getting hot in here, dude. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm done. <sighs> Looking at this schedule, um, you start with a, an out of conference game, a PSAT crossover, California U- University of Pennsylvania, excuse me, and then you get into the MEC schedule with Glenville State. You got teams like uh, West Virginia Wesleyan, Frostburg State, Fairmont State, Charleston, West Virginia State, Wheeling, West Liberty, UNC Pembroke. Notre Dame College. I mean, it's a pretty big conference. I didn't realize how large that conference was, to be honest with you. So, really one out-of-conference game, that being uh, California PA. So, they're obviously going to have to schedule a new week one. But then you get into this, and this is something I want to talk about with you guys because I'm assuming these opponents in the MEC because there's only one other team outside of their conference that they're you know, their uh, schedule has been disrupted. So, I'm assuming that all these other teams are just going to have to double up. Like the GLIAC has already yeah. done – for different reasonings, the GLIAC did that, but I'm assuming these teams will end up doubling up. Is that the most obvious course of action? I mean, action? probably, because yeah. I don't think there's going to be any other schools that need it. Not very many schools. Unless someone's looking for a bye week game still. Yeah. Very true, which happens. And that yeah. does happen. But there's not going to be very many teams at all that still need games. Like it's No, most likely not. We're, we're almost to camp already. Like the season's we're, about to start. Yeah.